Hello everyone and welcome back to Equinox, where we are watching over our teeming waters full of fish. And this truly is the secret to mastering discovery points, I think, to really mastering the energy that our planet can give us so that we can set out and explore deeper waters. Because they have managed to bump us up 2,000 more discovery points. They're having babies like nobody's business. This is fantastic. And I think what our goals are going to be for for today are to breed a banana tree that is going to be gold number one and to try to get it so that we can have a, a whole coral atoll big enough and continue to build our tropical waters fancy enough that we start making 20,000 DP a minute and I think that's going to change everything. So so far the fish are starting to get a little crowded. Uh, I, I really don't want to lose some of our precious cyan fish so even though this is really expensive i'm actually going to move a couple of them over here that's really painful to do oh he died immediately what was that waste of points is this really that terrible an environment okay well note to self a strange nut tree has evolved is this it this poor little thing okay 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 where's a good where's a good space for a nut tree everybody stop everything Perfect woodland area. We need a perfect woodland area. Woodland, 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 woodland. Uh, I think that actually one of our big problems is that we have started to lose so much of our woodland. Wait, woodland. Perfect woodland area for our precious, precious nut tree. We're going to go ahead and we are going to... Oh, another 40,000 that I'm probably wasting. But I am not wasting a unique mutation on something. Are you kidding me? Uh, we'll put it right there. Are you going to be okay? Population density, environment. Is this not good enough for you, little nut tree? Oh, the altitude factor. I didn't think about that. It needs to go up. Okay, dang it. <laughs> Why did I not think about that? Don't look at this, guys. This is painful. Are you happy here? Oh, boom. All right, so it's finally happy. Uh, I have wasted much DP. I feel a little shy about this. We're get the squirrels are already surveying this nut tree, wondering what the heck we're going to be doing with it. But we're going to speed things along for a minute. There we go. I want to see what's so special about this nut tree. Is it just the color? I think it's just the color is a little different. So I'm going to mark it so that we don't forget. And yeah, I'm pretty sure just the color is a little bit different and that's what makes it so special. But all right, so we have a unique mutation on that nut tree, noted. Uh, a guinea pig has caught a disease. Wait, what? Not the guinea pigs! Due to an unsuitable biome? What is going on, little one? Your health is so low. It says that all you need... You like almost anything, though, my dear. Okay, so this is apparently an unhealthy biome. It has a lot of dry land. It just doesn't have everything it needs to be a woodland here, huh? Alright, that's it. We're gonna spread a woodland aggressively. Uh, oregano, I find, really helps to get the point across. And snapdragons, too. Snapdragons do help to get the point across that this is a woodland. Um, and so do buttercups. They're usually my go-to, but lately my buttercups have been dying off really quickly. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, and oregano. So we're gonna put a little pinch of oregano down here. I think the guinea pig is better now. He just really needed a stable woodland area. And I think I have provided. All right, hopefully that worked. Also, I think I was trying to breed pansies at one point, and I don't really know what happened to that project. Apparently I unlocked pansies. I have no idea where they are. <laughs> I didn't know I had pansies. <laughs> where are pansies? Uh, I was so distracted with other things that I completely missed the point of pansies. Um, well, all right, all right, let's back up a little bit. Pretty sure I bred pansies. Did I? There they are. Okay, they're very pretty. Wow, they like woodland. Well, I just made a very thorough woodland. Um, and what do they like to be near? They like to be near grasses. Well, I have a little bit of both right over here for you, my dear. There are grasses and woodland right here. So we'll put a little, a little patch of pansies right there and hopefully they'll be happy can they evolve into anything <gasps> they become lilies if they're white oh get out of my way oh that's too expensive okay well we'll come back to to making white lilies later because i do love lilies okay we've got ducklings and mama duck over there back to what i was trying to focus on 
Let's work on a banana tree in the background. Hmm. Where's our healthiest and happiest palm tree? There's age. Environment is not very stable, interestingly enough. Spreads tropical. Flowery grass spreads tropical. It doesn't seem to be doing enough, though. I'm going to put down more of these leafy, leafy guys. And these leafy plants love to be near stones, so we really need to be mindful of that. They like stones, not rocks. So everywhere we have these stones, I'm going to put a little patch of rocks right next to them. There we go. We have more lizards spreading about, which makes me happy. And let's put some stones down here. Because this will make all of these guys happy. A few stones just kind of sprinkled around. I think that's why we haven't seen a lot of the leafy plants spreading. Is that they prefer stones than the rocks. And then tropical, leafy. Yeah, now they should be happy. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, now it's, it's like, yay, I get to be near stones. And then once we get that done, the palm trees... Yeah, the environment on the palm trees, suitable biome, population density is a little high, for, is what the palm trees are complaining about now. But I can start tweaking their productivity in just a bit here. Okay, so what does their productivity need to be for a banana? 1.2. That's really high. That's like 18%. And I can't quite afford that yet. If I wait just a second though. Okay. Don't die. I will be so irate with you if you die. I'm going to go ahead and take out your younger brother just to give you a better chance. So I just really gave you a huge health boost. You should hopefully produce a very, 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 very productive palm tree. Because Operation Banana is on. Um, and then, oh, I completed a task. Oh, it was an auto task. And then we do need to keep spreading the coral and... To do that, the coral is unhappy because its population density is now so high. Um, you really would be happy down here too. Yeah, we're gonna keep spreading the coral along here as far as I can go. And is this making it tropical? Slowly but surely, what else will spread it? Tropical. Yeah, the it's interesting because the only thing that really spreads tropical to make this a suitable biome is the tropical seaweed in particular. Oh, its population density is getting a little high. I should spread them out a little more. I can be a little more generous with that. Look, we're starting to finally get some solid coloration of tropical over here. About time. Jeez, and look at our little, oh, we've got little beautiful rainbow lizards just chilling out over here. I love their color. Why would I ever, yeah, they don't even change color. I could make them smaller into adorable little geckos. Look, he's going under the, oh, he died. That was dramatic. One second I'm admiring my lizards. The next second death is upon them. But look at how beautiful our little tropical rainbow lizards are. That makes me happy. All right. How are we doing on productive baby trees? What's your productivity? Um, okay. Population density is high. You're very old. I'm going to go ahead and remove this guy. Yeah. Population density is going higher. So hopefully this one will produce a happier, uh, a happy baby at some point soon. I may have to remove this palm tree too in order to encourage it. They seem to spread very slowly. Speaking of spreading slowly, oh, I need to get more rocks. Almost forgot. Tropical seaweed will not put up not being next to rocks or stones. So I'm going to have a little cluster of stones. All right, we're gonna make a rocky shore. That is going to be our operation for the moment, my friends. A nice little rocky shoreline. We'll try to make it a little artistic. There we go. Nice, I like it. Do little patches here, little patches there. That'll make everybody happy. That'll make the coral happy in the future. There we go. And we'll just get like a nice tropical establishment going. It's so much work to get this planet up and, and at it that I just am never going to leave it alone now. <laughs> it's mine forever. And we're going to make like a little mermaid cove. Little, little lizard mermaid cove is kind of what I'm daydreaming right now. 
and we're gonna try to make it kind of artsy. We've reached the point we can afford to be artsy, not literally with DP, we're still kind of broke as, as poor little, poor little broke geckos with that, um, but we've reached the point creatively that we can go ahead and add in a little bit of a personalized flair, passion, hope of a beautiful world that we can continue to grow and contribute to. And I like that the I like the idea that it's just a little different. The shoreline super duper rocky makes sense, but I really like the idea that once you get into the water, the rocks kind of get washed around a little bit. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. I like this so much. There, and look, you can even see the tropical seaweed is starting to spread on its own. Oh, now we're creating something that's worthy of being kind of called art, and that makes me happy. There we go. Let's get some stones up here. Thankfully, we're making enough DP that the stone population is almost... The stone population? That the population is supporting my artistic stone habits that we have suddenly sprung up. There we go. What do you guys think? How far do you think we're gonna be able to make this ocean grow? Because the more we add to it, the more that we are really growing it, and I'm gonna actually move some of the rocks out a little faster there. But the faster we are growing this ocean, are you noticing? Our DP is almost at that 20,000. I thought that was a really high goal to set before the end of the day, but I'm actually thinking if I push, we might be able to make it happen. All right, come on, tropical seaweed. You're not a suitable biome yet, but with the help of one another, you can make this happen. Come on, tropical seaweed. It's gonna be hard. There's not a lot of you just yet. You're gonna really have to throw yourselves into it, but you can take root, you can start spreading, and then with it, we can start having some of the clownfish be moved, which is very expensive because our clownfish are quite expensive, uh, but we can make it happen. All right, come on. Come on, tropical seaweed. We're gonna make this into such an amazing tropical world. And there we go. All right, we've got more clownfish over here. We've got coral kind of poking around. It really needs shells to spread, which I forgot about. But we put down the rocks first. Uh, the rocks and the fish, what do the clownfish really need? They're really like, whoa, there's so many of us, but they're gonna have to just put up with it for a minute. All right, clownfish, how can I make you happy? All they really want is that tropical seaweed and they are perfectly content, which is just joyous. I'm even going to risk adding a new clownfish population. Um, should I put them down over there yet? Ooh, ooh, there was somewhere that's already up at 70%. Wait for it, wait for it, 75%. All right, I'm gonna put a new clownfish population down here. I'm even gonna tweak them to be yellow because we don't have any yellow clownfish just yet. All right, I, I see somebody is hungry, but we're gonna just have to wait because my focus right now is truly to try to get to that 20,000. We are really, really, really kicking towards it to get to 20,000 DP per minute. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, clownfish, anywhere that's over, yeah, anywhere that is over 50%, I'm putting down clownfish. All right, and you, my little friend, I wish I could make you cyan or something again, but I cannot. So I'm going to make you maybe really small. Who would eat you? I don't know who would eat you, but I'm going to give this one a chance to have really tiny children because it's complaining about how small this area is. So we'll go ahead and let that happen. I guess it would make more sense to focus our efforts on really, really pushing out into these deep waters. I want our cyan clownfish if we're going to do that too. All right. And he's really unhappy because population density. going to grab you. Are you going to... Did you die? Why do they keep dying? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> All right. What if I put you... 
Here, here. I cannot afford to have that happen again. What if I transplant you right here? That should be super tropical. Woohoo! Finally! That's the first successful transfer of a cyan clownfish that we have had. And Fooey, all right, guys, I think that we almost made it. It was a really good goal. We managed to climb up. Oh, if I just wait, we're about 15,000 discovery points right now. <gasps> my bananas! I forgot about my banana goal. Do we have super hyper productive? We have a really hyper productive coconut tree. Holy cow, we're gonna get rid of its competition. Uh, the least productive members will be removed. That's that guy. And now we are going to focus on trying to get a mud green hyper productive coconut tree because apparently that will somehow magically make bananas next time. So let's speed this up. I think we're really close. Look at that, 15,000 DP and rising. That is the fish population if you ask me. Oh, I think we can do it. 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 We cap out now and then, but then we come back to it. All right, so let's go to Mud Green. We're gonna buy this, and we are gonna keep our eyes peeled on this guy right here, because he should hopefully have another child. That child should hopefully carry with it uh, the Mud Green gene. I want to turn this into like tons and tons of coral, but that'll have to wait because coral does not produce more fish and only animals can help us with the wonders. Will these guys be happy over here? They like to have a tree near them, I think. Habitat likes trees. What kind of trees will live in a tropical palm tree? We could have a palm tree over here. Maybe I'm gonna wait and put a banana over here and then we'll spread the lizards that way. But I've got my little lizards. I have got a hyperproductive palm tree. We have got the DP going through the roof. In fact, can I just like speed this up? This is so exciting. I'm really hoping. I think I can come over here. I just wanna remove like all this. Does the seaweed care? The seaweed unsuitable for jungle and tropical. So we can actually come over and I can just be like, all of you, out, out. You know what this land is about to be? A tropical biome, boom. And start getting more tropical plants put down. And hopefully that will work over time. We're gonna put it all the way down here. It's so mad. It needs more rocks. All right, where's my little stones? Here we go. But by doing that, we are making another place where we can move more of the fish. I wanna move another clownfish down here and continue to encourage the coral to come down here and just make so many different colors as time goes on. I think I can encourage the coral to kind of sneak its way down if I put some shells, like a trail of shells. All right, all right, hang on. You know what? We're not leaving until we manage to hit. Okay, that's only 50%. We're not leaving until we do manage to hit 20,000 DP per minute, because I know that's gonna change everything. We're gonna discover this, this ocean is teeming with life, and just like the real life ocean, it will result in everybody thriving. The, the life that comes out of our ocean is what creates so much life on our whole planet. It really is underrated so much so i really wish like i had to go way out of my way to learn just how vital the ocean is for life on the entire planet but i really really wish it was something that was taught more actively all right so let's come over here and grab more tropical seaweed there we go okay that was everything i had i threw literally everything i had at it we're just gonna speed up let's keep an eye is that a muddy green coconut it can become a banana! If only I had more DP! All right. We're just gonna speed up. We are going to go ahead. We're gonna start breeding up a banana tree. Holy cow. And I think we're about to hit both of our goals. 17,000. 16,000. 17,000 discovery points per minute and rising. The fish populations are spreading in this broad, beautiful open ocean. We have the yellow ones. We have got orange ones, we've got blue ones, absolutely beautiful. 
Can I move another fish? Is it over 50% yet? It is slowly but surely climbing higher and higher in how tropical this area is. It is now at 64% in some areas. I think I can risk moving another one of my, like, help, there's too many of us, scions. Don't die, don't die. And a new established population of the beautiful cyan clownfish. I think it's gonna happen. Oh, we went down on DP. Our DP is nose diving. Oh no, we were so close. We were so close, but I think like the populations, we have a banana tree. The populations were just like stabilizing. Banana tree, please be happy. How can I make you happy? Environment. Altitude factor. It needs to be higher up. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I don't have a higher up altitude for my banana tree. Um, we might have to sacrifice this little jungle spot right here and hurry and create a banana grove. So that might have to be next. Otherwise, I don't think our banana tree is going to make it, you guys. And we've got bananas we need to make. But unfortunately, our DP are nose diving again. We don't seem to be able to stay stably up that high. I think it's because our fish have mass like births and then deaths. So we need to spread, we need to spread out a little more and just continue to build our ocean. But we have really, 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 really begun to explore the wonders of the ocean. And I'm sure if we continue to push at it, we'll be able to, to make something fantastic for the whole world. Also, I hope everybody else is doing okay. I really hope we still have populations of wolves, for instance, and we do, watching over the lilac sheep that apparently they have been uh, definitely shearing the population down for sure. They seem to be going for the fluffy sheep rather than the mountain goats. And it looks like our chickens are holding steady. We've still got foxes that share their life with the wolves. And I think everybody but the warthogs has been prospering. I do think we are losing our special little woodland over here though. So I'm going to aggressively come through here and create a woodland because I am not going to lose my precious little guinea pig haven. This is, this is very important to me. But all right, that's enough yammering on my part. We still have so much more to do, so many more little tweaks to make, so many more little corners of our precious world to coo over, and a lot more to do next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like to toss a shell and some stones into the waters to make all of this uh, even more thriving environment and consider subscribing to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures and i will see you guys next time Bye bye